Do you have an option that has a, not sure what it's called, a claw? I find that I wear appendix without one pushes away from the body and prints. Yeah, no, we don't have one, Alfonso, sorry. I know a lot of people will buy the torsion gun holster and I've seen it on Instagram. If you Google Bravo Concealment, you'll end up seeing somebody putting a claw here and I don't know what kind of claw. A lot of companies are making them now. As long as the hole patterns are correct, we don't follow anybody's hole patterns. These are our, our hole patterns. Uh, I'm not sure exactly the measurements on them. I used to know it. Um, I kind of forgot. But um, for the most part, a lot of them that are making them now, they're universal. So uh, you may be able to fit them in there. If not, just you know, take a drill and, and drill, that, drill a hole in that claw or something and make it fit. But yeah, there's a lot of people that do that. I don't find it necessary to do. Uh, I, the torsion uh, technology works whether you're running dual or single belt clip. Uh, but hey, if you need more push, if you like wearing tighter shirts and you need more extra, you know, yeah, definitely. That's something that we're gonna look at the 4.0 is we'll probably adding, uh, we'll be adding a wedge or some kind of wall here, you know, to even help the torsion technology a little bit. So yeah, uh, good question. Yeah, we don't have one, but again, a lot of people find a way to do it and put it on there. It won't mess with the warranty, guys. Please don't ever be afraid of, well, you know, I don't wanna, I don't want to put something on there that doesn't go on there because it's going to mess with the warranty. No, it won't mess with the warranty. Now, use common sense, guys. Make sure that it doesn't make uh, your holster dangerous, right? Because you are adding something else that doesn't come with a holster. So make sure, and you guys are smart enough, man. You guys know people that usually run guns and, and, and understand guns and safety and all that, they understand uh, if they can put something here that's not gonna affect the safety or the performance of the holster itself. So just use common sense, guys, when you're doing that. But yeah, I see a lot of people do that. So uh, we don't offer one, but you know, we, you may see it on maybe uh, the 4.0 or something like that. Or who knows, we may even design something and just offer it and uh, you know, have you guys run our own little device there that can push the, the gun holster in. We'll see, I mean, we've been getting a lot of people asking that question, so we may look into designing something. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what happens, but that's, that's a great question, Alfonso, thanks, man. These aren't Kydex, these are polymer injection molded gun holsters, and we're getting away from Kydex simply because uh, maximum output, you can't, um, you know, you, 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 you can't grow, uh, with. you can grow, but up to a certain point, you can't, you know, you're gonna plateau, so you have to go, you know, with something uh, I, we think is better, something that is, uh, that you, you can do wonders with plastic that you can't do with Kydex, like, it's day and night, and our 4.0 is gonna prove that to you guys. We're already looking into, you know, certain designs and stuff like that, so it's just, it's, it's a better gun holster, um, and, um, you know, like I said, you know, with Kydex, you're limited. Kydex is expensive. A lot of people use Boltron or Bolotron or Boltron or whatever it's called. It's it's inferior, guys. It's inferior to Kydex, uh, whatever anybody says out there. Um, so, yeah, Kydex is expensive and you can only go so fast with Kydex. And so, and, uh, you know, Kydex, you leave it in a hot spot. It's Kydex always wants to go back to its original form, which is flat and heat does that to it and so after a while it's 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 gonna it's it's gonna warp a little and it's not gonna have the same retention or anything like that of course you have retention screws and all that but <clears throat> things just kind of you know they kind of start losing their shape after a while and it is what it is it's just it's it's natural Kydex, great holsters man uh but they're not um uh, you can't compare them to a really good polymer holster um uh, you just really can't. And so go check out the 3.0s, bravoconcealment.com, awesome holsters. Will a holster for a Glock 34 be an option eventually? Isaac, I don't know, man. And I only say this because Glock 34s are not made for concealed carry. Obviously they're big guns, you know, they're competitive shooting guns. Um, and so, I don't know, but you may see a Glock 17 with an open end that'll fit a Glock 34 for an outside the waistband. So. Who knows, I'm not gonna sit here and say, no, we'll never make one because we are in concealment. That's why we don't do, you know, the five inch MMPs or anything like that because most people won't conceal carry those. Now, can you take our outside the waistband gun holsters and go to the range with them? Yes, of course, man, a lot of people do that. So I get it. I know people want a Glock 34 holster and we used to make them, but they just didn't sell a lot. And so now with our process being so, um, um, 
so rigorous just to get a holster out, we need to be careful with what we choose. And so the Hellcat is gonna sell a lot more than, than the Glock 34. Although Glocks sell a lot, man. We're thinking about the Glock 21. That's not a very popular concealed carry gun, but a lot of people do. And then we also look at our agencies. Agencies run Glock 21s as well. Uh, obviously the P320 full size, we offer that because agencies run those and they'll place an order for their plainclothes officers or, or you know, uh, or for whatever, but they'll place their orders and uh, yeah, so we get those, but yeah, I get it. You know, Glock 34, some people, you know, I'm not saying that you're gonna conceal carry that, but I know that some people will go out to the range and they wanna run a Bravo holster, I get it, but no, not anytime soon, unless we leave that front face open, you may be able to slip, slip in a Glock 34 or a Glock 17L, and that's awesome, you know, people will love that, but until then, no, man. Um, Sorry about that. Sorry about that, Isaac. Good question, though. 